Hi everyone, thanks for the left turn. Welcome back to the Jack's Left channel. Welcome back to Yesteryear, our new history series about Jacksonville history right here on the channel. And you know that when we start up Yesteryear, every episode of Yesteryear, we get ready to travel. We get ready to travel through time, travel through Jacksonville history from the Jacksonville Terminal, the Union Station of the 1930s. Back then, it wasn't the Prime Osborne Convention Center. So we're going to warm up the yesteryear machine, and we're going to climb aboard soon. And I'm going to take you through images of Jacksonville history, and we're going to we're going to stop. We're going to look at an image from Jacksonville history, a, a special moment in time. I'm going to ask you what year it happened in. We're going to take a break, and then I'll come back with the answer, and we'll talk a little bit more. So uh, I guess get your seatbelts on. I'm promising you a smooth ride, and I know you're going to enjoy it. So away we go. Here we are in our special moment in Jacksonville history. Did you like the ride? Did you enjoy it? I hope you did. The yesteryear machine has brought us to a special moment in Jacksonville history in Southern Duval County on State Road 13 in the Julington Creek area. What we have here is actress Lee Meredith posing with then Mayor Hans Tanzler as they help to change out the signs. Because on this day in Jacksonville history, Jacksonville was expanding beyond its current borders at the time, which at the time, Jacksonville only encompassed what we know as downtown, Riverside, Springfield, uh, the Avondale area, Talleyrand area, and uh, parts of the north side. On that day, Jacksonville grew to encompass Duval County with certain exceptions, uh, with cities such as, uh, or towns such as Baldwin, uh, Jacksonville Beach, Neptune Beach, and Atlantic Beach, uh, Jacksonville, uh, the city, expanded out into Duval County. Which year did this happen? Was it in 1963, 1968, 1972? or 1976. I'll be right back with the answer. I want to tell you about some great shows ahead on the channel. Of course, we have History Jacksonville. I'll be exploring Mandarin, our Main Street Bridge, our Rediscovered Downtown, our 103rd Street Part 2, We Hit the Road, and there'll be some other shows down the road, Who Runs Jacksonville, our corporate media, a study of our local television stations. And of course, you can check me out and check what I've got for you out on Facebook. Jacksonville Perspectives and History Jacksonville are some great pages I know you'll enjoy. So which year was it? Yes, the year was 1968. Uh, here you see a uh, cover uh, the front page of the Florida Times Union celebrating this special day, October 1st, 1968. We became the biggest city in land area in the world. Now, we've dropped a little bit in the land area rankings, uh, but we are still up there uh, in the top, I believe in the top five. Uh, this was such a special day for the people of Jacksonville. A, a time capsule was dedicated. To the left, you see Mayor Tanzler. To the right, uh, where the capsule is, uh, holding the capsule is J.J. Daniel. Both these people merit uh, some great episodes of History Jacksonville. Maybe sometime next year, we can start on that. Uh, and there was a parade. And if I recall from my reading back years ago, there was a barbecue as well. I want to thank you for watching yesteryear. And I want to thank you for watching the Jack's Left channel. There's more is coming. And as always, the best is yet to come. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. See you later.